Hi everyone, this is Ruel from Packet6 and in this video I'm going to show you where to find the objectives for the CCNA security exam. The CCNA security exam objectives are important and it should be the first step that you do before doing any studying or buying the exam itself. So let's jump right into it. To find the exam objectives, go to learningnetwork.cisco.com and you'll be sent right to this page. At the top menu, go to certifications and click on it. Scroll down and under the associate column, look for the security row and click on CCNA security. From here, you can read about the exam news and announcements, but what we want to find is exam topics. Click on that link to the exam topics. On this page, it'll list out all the objectives and each percentage that is uh, attributed to the percentage attributed to each objective. You can download this as a PDF and I highly recommend it. Keep it with you as you study for your exam. When you, when you download the objectives, you'll get the exam description. It's a 90 minute exam with about 55 to 65 questions. Let's scroll down and go through each objective. Objective 1.0 is 11% of the exam and it's on the objective of common security threats. The important thing about this objective is that it starts with the word describe. What this means is all you need to know is describing the sub objectives. So describe the common threats to a physical installation. You know, describe email-based threats, describe web-based attacks. So you get my drift there. This should be a fairly easy objective. Going on to objective two, which is only 8% of the exam, is security and Cisco routers. This one, it has a keyword of implement, which means you will, be ha you will have to type in commands or use a GUI to answer some of these questions. So for example, you need to know how to use CCP and also the command line interface to implement some of these objectives such as role-based command line interface and also securing Cisco IOS images and configuration files. Some other objectives are described which we have already covered in the previous objective. So just knowing what you need to know on this objective, so describe what securing control, data, and management plane is. Let's skip over to objective three, which is AAA on Cisco devices. It's covering about 11% of the exam. In this objective, you'll need to know how to configure AAA using CCP, command line interface, and also on the ASA. You also need to know how to uh, describe TACAX Plus and RADIUS in AAA. What is the difference between TACAX Plus and RADIUS? What is AAA? What is authentication? authorization, and accounting. And here's a new keyword on objective 3.5 is verify AAA functionality. Now verify means you're gonna have to use show commands to show that AAA is working. On to objective 4.0, which is iOS ACLs, access control list. This covers about 12% of the exam. And you need to describe standard extended and named IP IOS ACLs to filter packets. You're gonna need to describe considerations when building ACLs. Describe the sequencing and modifications of access control entries. What happens when the device needs to go through a sequence of access control entries? And what happens when you modify a single access control entry? What happens to the ACL? And lastly, you're going you're to have to know how to implement these ACLs. So that means using command line interface and also CCP. Objective 5.0, which is secure network management and reporting is 10% of the exam. That means you're going to need to know how to describe secure network management. You have inbound out, out of band. I'm sorry, that's inbound and out of band management protocols, enclave and plane. You know, describe what the difference is between in-band and out-of-band. 
what are management protocols? What's the management plan? And from there, you're going to need to know how to implement this. And that means configuring SSH, syslog, SNMP, NTP, you know, using SCP. What is that? And you're going to need to know how to do that in command line and CCP. So that's a common theme here is you're going to need to know how to do this and describe this in command line interface and in CCP. Objective 6.0, common layer to attacks, is 12% of the exam. Half of it is describing layer 2 security using Cisco switches and also describing VLAN security. Note a difference between voice VLAN, private VLAN, what is VLAN hopping, and what is the native VLAN. What are the common attacks such as STP attacks, ARP spoofing, MAC spoofing, what is CAM overflow, and just describe security with CDP and LLDP. From there, you're going to need to know how to implement, which is configuring VLANs and trunking. You're also going to need to know how to implement spanning tree. The next objective is Cisco Firewall Technologies, objective number seven, and that covers 13% of the exam. You need to know how to describe operational strengths and weaknesses of different firewall technologies. So that means proxy firewalls, packet and stateful uh, packet inspection, application firewall, personal firewalls. What are the differences between each of those and what are the pros and cons of each as well? Describe stateful firewalls. That's what most firewalls are nowadays. So describe what that even means compared to a firewall that is not stateful. Describe NAT that's used in firewalls. What is static, dynamic, and PAT? And from there, you're gonna have to implement all of this using CCP. And also, since it's a firewall objective, you need to know how to do this on the ASA. And to know how to do this on the ASA, that specific topic is gonna be NAT, ACLs, security levels. You need to know how to install um, the functions of PAT, NAT, NAT overload. What is the difference between all of those? translating inside source addresses using uh, outside global addresses, you need to know how to do all of that on an ASA. Objective number eight is Cisco IPS, and that covers about 11% of the exam. This is one topic where I had a little bit of trouble because I did not have an IPS. So the, the objectives here are to describe what an IPS is, describe the different technologies, that are used with IPS. And then you're gonna need to know how to uh, configure IPS using CCP. And the, the key thing with this objective is that you're configuring Cisco IOS IPS, not the IPS that's on a Cisco ASA. So keep that in mind. Objective number nine is VPN technologies, and this is 12% of the exam. You're gonna need to describe cryptography know what is symmetric, asymmetric, PKI, know the differences between each of those and how they're used in cryptography. Then you need to describe the different VPN technologies, which is IPsec and SSL for this exam. Then describe the building blocks of IPsec, all the components within an IPsec VPN. Describe each of those. Then you're going to need to implement this with iOS. So one thing that's going to be listed later is ASA. So two different um, versions here on iOS and ASA implement uh, a VPN. They're using CCP and command line interface for the iOS IPsec VPN. You need to verify VPN operation, which means you need to know what show commands to use to verify and, and prove that VPN is working properly. And like I said, you're going to need to know how to implement SSL VPN specifically on the ASA using device manager, which is the GUI interface to the ASA. And for that, you need to know how to configure the clientless version of SSL VPN and also using the AnyConnect client. So that is a quick rundown on the objectives for the CCNA security. I recommend you download it, read it thoroughly, and gauge yourself every time you finish a chapter. If you read a chapter on Cisco IPS, can you describe span? Can you describe the caveats of IPS deployment considerations? And then just check that off when you're finished. 
If you have any questions, leave a comment down below or shoot me an email at hello at packet6.com. Thank you for watching.